So today we're going to talk about Venom. Before we even get into the review, I just want to state, I think Sony's whole idea of forming a Sony Spider-Man cinematic universe without Spider-Man is one of the most ridiculous things I've ever heard in my life. Like, who the hell wants the Morbius or Kraven the Hunter movie? I'm sorry. Who wants the movie about Kraven the Hunter without Spider-Man? I would have no problem seeing a Spider-Man movie where Tom Holland, Spider-Man, Mike Craven the Hunter, and like the MCU, but nobody wants a solo Morbius or Craven movie. And I'm not sure what the deal is, but I'm assuming for every character Sony uses, that one less character the MCU can use. I mean, I don't care if the MCU can't use Morbius, because honestly, I don't really have any desire to see Tom Holland beat up an energy-sucking vampire, but I would be kind of disappointed if we lost all chances of getting like a Craven's Last Hunt movie or a Spider-Man vs. Venom movie or something like that. But I just don't get it. Apparently at one point they were planning on making like an Ant Meg Spy movie. It just it's ridiculous. Originally, this whole Spider-Man cinematic universe was going to have Spider-Man, but then the amazing Spider-Man movie bombed, and Marvel took the character back to put him in the MCU, so that's not happening. But overall, what did I think of Venom? Honestly, I know some people have been saying the critics were wrong, and this movie wasn't that bad. I disagree. I think this movie is flat-out terrible. I really don't like it. I will say I had a lot of fun watching it. I was laughing hysterically the entire time, because it was so so terrible. There was one scene when Eddie Brock comes into like a restaurant, like where his ex-wife is, his fiance is, and he's like having like an attack because he's reacting to the symbiote being in his body, he's reacting to Venom, and he like steals somebody's food, he knocks the table over, and he like gets up and he sits down in a giant fist tank and like takes a bath in it. And I'm sorry, is it Tom already is acting like a jackass on screen and it was so hilariously insane? It just looked ridiculous. And it was one of the stupid corniest things I've ever seen in my life. And I just started laughing hysterically. I couldn't help it. The thing was supposed to be serious because Eddie Brock is like going crazy and having like an attack. I couldn't take it seriously. I just thought it was hilarious. I honestly at first thought it was a joke, but then I realized it was a serious moment, but I couldn't stop laughing. I was laughing hysterically because it was just such a ridiculous thing to be looking at. This movie was clearly meant to be rated R, but the editing is really choppy. There were parts of this movie where somebody's head got bitten off, but there was no blood at all. Like, there were a lot of parts in this movie that were clearly seen for a rated R movie, but it's not rated R, it's PG-13. So they were like heavily censored, it was really weird. I think this movie would have really benefited from being rated R. I actually think it would have been a lot better if they could have just embraced how dark Venom can be and just have fun with it. And there was one thing that I was really surprised they put in a PG-13 movie where Eddie Brock's ex-fiance, Eddie I think her name is, Andy, and whatever, her ex-fiance, Joe's up to save him in the Venom symbiote. Like, Venom got onto her body so they could go save Eddie. And basically... She starts making out with him as, like, a female version of Venom. And Venom, like, as they're making out, like, crawl back on to Eddie Brock's body and, like, merging with him. And I don't know. And it was really, really weird. And it was really disturbing. I know Eddie Brock is apparently made out with the symbiote in the comics, but I really don't care. Just because something happened in the comics doesn't make it okay to put in a movie. Just being one more day is a thing that happened in the comics. Does it make it a good story? That really took me out of the movie. The scene was just really gross and disturbing. And I remember audibly shouting out, what the hell am I watching? Like, I was really, it was really messed up and disturbing. The villain who was, it became Riot, like the human guy. Oh, I don't remember what his name was, but he was lame as hell. Um, he was insane. Like, Eddie Brock literally comments multiple times about he isn't saying, like, they just made a crazy villain, which I never liked. Because I don't care. Like, I could not care about this character. He was, he was a psychopath. He was like, and not in the, like, cool, like, psychotic Joker way. Like, he was just insane. Like, he was like, we're gonna go to other worlds and cure all diseases. And he, like, 
hated humans because they were weak and it looked really bizarre. Like he ends up merging and you know with Riot, like they become like one and they start working together like Venom and Eddie Brock are. And they're going to like go to the symbiote home world and bring back like an army of symbiotes, symbiotes, whatever. And by the way, uh, the symbiote home world thing from the comics is dumb. But I guess what they were planning on doing is introducing more symbiote characters, I don't know. Also, I'm not sure if it was the theater I was in because like, my theater was empty. It was, I've never seen anything like it before. This movie, it's the opening day for this movie. Apparently, it's like breaking record, which is really weird, because I, I saw this movie on Friday, but day it came out, and there were probably seven or eight people in the theater. Like, two families, one of them with kids, one of them with no kids, but there was like nobody there. But for some reason, the music at certain parts of this movie was way louder than everything else. So it was actually a point where it actually took me out of the movie, I had to cover my ears, I was like, wow, this is loud. So I'm not sure if the audio was missed weirdly, if that was in a movie problem, if that was just my theater. I'm not sure, but that did hurt the experience for me. Also, there are a couple moments during the final fight where it's really hard to follow what's going on. I don't know about anybody else, but I found the CGI was a little hard to follow, like it wasn't great. Only at the very end though, during the final fight. The CGI in this movie is actually really good. I thought Venom looked really good. And now I'm gonna talk about the few things I liked about this movie. Well, really the one, the two things. First of all, Tom Hardy was amazing as Eddie Brock. He did a great job. I really liked him as an actor. I wouldn't mind if they ever introduced Eddie Brock in the MCU officially if he continued to play the role. Even if they had to retcon a lot of this movie or just get rid of it. Another thing I enjoyed about this movie was the relationship and chemistry between Eddie Brock and, and Tom, or Tom Hardy and the symbiote Venom. The dialogue between Eddie Brock and Venom was generally funny. Like, it was genuine humor. It made me laugh. There were multiple points in this movie when Eddie Brock and the symbiote were communicating where I burst out laughing. This movie is generally funny at certain points. Like, I really enjoyed that. Like, it's not quippy. Like, I don't mind the quippy Marvel movie humor. I like it. It's my kind of humor. I like those kind of jokes. And it works really well for me. But it is also nice to get something like this every once in a while, where just the character interactions themselves make me laugh. My personal favorite one in this movie, from what I remember, I'd have to rewatch it to make sure I got all the jokes. But my personal favorite joke interaction between the two, when when he's in the when he's in the uh, his old office building, he's putting the phone down, telling the guy to do the right thing, and after he gets done writing it, Venom tells him to jump to leave. And it cuts to him press, pressing a button on the elevator, and Venom's like, PUSSY! And I just burst out laughing. The joke was hilarious. The timing was perfect. The voice actor for Venom, I'm not sure who does him, but was fantastic. I loved him. He did this great voice that was just, whenever he spoke, it made his dialogue funny. and a lot of charisma, and I really liked that. That one great, so I enjoyed that. But aside from the Venom and Symbiote interaction, there wasn't much in this movie I liked. When Eddie Brock steals the Symbiote, there was, of course, a bit of a chase scene afterwards. And I thought the chase scene looked really cool. I did like that. I think it was well directed and well shot. I just think the chase scene was dope. Like, the chase thing was just cool, the music over the scene was good, and the chase thing was just awesome. Like, I don't have anything else to say besides the fact that the chase scene is awesome. But I just didn't feel this movie. I honestly don't think Venom works very well without Spider-Man. I don't. I feel like what you could have done with this movie, you could have made a Venom movie, and you have made a Venom MCU movie that took place in the MCU, and then have Spider-Man show up, and you had had it be a regular movie, and the MCU you had done this movie, I think it could have worked. I think you could have had a movie starring Venom that featured Spider-Man. Like Venom's origin. You could have told the Venom origin from Eddie Brock's perspective, but have Spider-Man be a secondary character. Basically do the reverse of what all the other origins do, and tell it from Eddie Brock's perspective instead of Peter Parker. You could have done that, and it could have been really cool. 
But no, they had took away Spider-Man, and it wasn't as cool. There was also this part, a multiple park, where Venom, like, knew things were going to happen. Like, he would tell Eddie to, like, not open a door or to jump out a window because people were coming. Where I'm like, he can't have a spider scent because there's no Peter Parker, there's no Spider-Man. So what is he doing? What is that power? I don't know. I just didn't feel this movie. Like, the only real enjoyment I got out of it was laughing at how bad some of it was. I felt like the dialogue was cringy. I feel like there were scenes that were ridiculous. But definitely the, the same way in the restaurant and the same way in the MRI. Like when he had like this attack in the MRI, the way it was done, I thought it looked hilarious. It looked dumb and corny and stupid. But I just didn't like this movie. There was nothing in this movie that I really enjoyed besides. I, I tr it was really like a comedy for me. I just laughed at how bad it was. And then there were a couple of good jokes with Eddie Brock and Venom that I thought were really actually legitimately funny. So aside for that, meh. You know what, the movie made me laugh. Like, the Eddie Brock, there were some really funny moments in this movie. Just for giving me a lot of good laughs with the Eddie Brock and Venom stuff. 5 out of 10, like, it's, it's a pretty bad movie. I was really shocked when I got out of it at how bad it was. But I mean, after giving myself some time to think about it, it's no Man of Steel, it's no Batman vs. Superman, it's no Thor the Dark World, it's better than those. It's better than Thor the Dark World, I'll give it that. It, 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 it's not, like, I'll remember parts of the things about this movie that made me laugh, like the pussy joke, I will remember for a long time. I will actually remember this movie, but overall, meh. Nothing special, not great, pretty bad, honestly, pretty bad. Not me, you know, this is a bad movie. Bad movie. 5 out of 10, if you're a fan of Venom, definitely go see it. If you're a fan of Venom, you might as well check it out just because you may get a few laughs out of it. But honestly, if you don't care about Venom, and you're like me, and you think the whole Sony Spider-Man without Spider-Man cinematic universe idea is dumb as hell, there's no reason for you to see this movie. Like, it's not, it's not part of the MCU, it's not part of any universe that anybody actually likes. It's just Sony trying desperately to cling on to the Spider-Man name. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm in the process of working on the Monday video and a couple other side projects. I have a three-day weekend, so I got some time to work on my side project. So that's nice, but yeah, look forward to the video on Monday. It's probably going to be an SAO video. I'm leaning toward that, or, or a video on trailers. I'm debating with what I want to make, because I'm going to be doing it probably tomorrow. I'm going to be recording and editing that. But overall, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave it a like. Subscribe for more videos. I mainly do anime and manga content, but I do talk about superhero movies and comic books occasionally. So if you're interested in comic books, you can subscribe for that if you enjoyed this. And yeah, bubble up, guys. Have a great day. This movie was really disappointing, honestly.